Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. And today we have Han and Chewie, Calvin and Hobbes. No, it's Rocket and Groot. Uh, Marvel's Rocket and Groot in their own little animated series of shorts. Uh, this isn't going to take very long because it's very short. There's only 12 episodes, one season. And each of the episodes are two, three minutes long. But in reality, they're about a minute and a half to two minutes long at the very most. The last... 30 seconds of every episode, at least, is all the foreign credits of the different translations and the, and the artists and the creators and things like that. They do a little credit sequence at the very beginning that's literally just a stack of who created it, Stanley and Jack Kirby and, and uh, the writers and, and whatever else. For the most part, uh, it's it just drops you right in the middle of a story and takes you there, and all the episodes are connected into one big story. I kind of wish they had just made a single one episode <laughs> that was 24, 25, the half hour long, whatever it was, uh, just so I could, you know, you just burn through it. it actually, it would have been done in 20 minutes without all the extra stuff. Uh, so basically the story is Rocket and Groot uh, are just scrounging by on, the, on their own, and this is probably before they've met, you know, Peter Quill and everybody else. And, uh, <laughs> and this, their ship is a piece of junk, and they run across one while they're scavenging that is just pristine. It's beautiful. But the guy who wants to sell it to them, well, he says it's going to cost them three million credits. They do not have three million credits. They have zero credits. So they uh, go on a number of missions, schemes, bounty hunting in order to get this, mo uh, this, these, this money that they need to buy this brand new ship. And they run into all sorts of creatures, aliens, and people uh, who are not exactly eager to give up that money. So, uh, yeah, that's the entire premise of the thing. And do they get the ship of their dreams in the end, in the 12, barely, 12 episodes, barely 15, 20 minutes worth of uh, story? You'll have to watch to find out. If you're a big Marvel fan and you love Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, you'll enjoy this. It is much more kid friendly. It is. It doesn't. Uh, it's not. There's no Bradley Cooper or Vin Diesel. This is two other actors doing the voices for the characters. It is completely its own little thing. In fact, the weird thing is that at the end of each episode, they they say that there's a little French credit. So apparently, this was made by French animators. It is much like the an the Ant Man um, animated series of shorts we watched so many months ago, which is also excellent if you haven't watched the my review of that. The Ant-Man one, it, I love even more than this. this. This one's great. It is beautiful. The story is just, you know, kind of flimsy, not not really... It's all about showcasing the incredible styling in the animation uh, department. It's funny, and it's it's uh, what you expect from Rocket and Groot, so it's fun. I think kids would enjoy it, and adults who uh, love Guardians of the Galaxy would enjoy it, too. So, yeah, if you got... <laughs> 12 minute and a half moments of your life to blow. There you go. Rocketing Marvel's rocketing Groot. So let's pick. Wow, that's. I didn't even do three and a half minutes there. <laughs> Woo! Blew through that. All right, let's pick tomorrow's episode. Come on. 700. No! Whoa, oh, wait, we did have 700. And that was. Previously, on the old list, that was Three Men and a Baby. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't count anymore because the, the list has been redone. Um, <laughs> it was so recent that we had 700. This thing must love 700. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, this it would be a whole different selection because this is a whole new uh, reconfigured list. Hmm. We very nearly just missed a boatload of X-Men films. <laughs> but instead, uh, we got X-Ray Earth, which is a series of something. It's not shorts. It's not, I don't know if it's a documentary or anything else, but it's orange, so that tells me it's a series. That's how everything's color-coded. So X-Ray Earth. Yeah, we'll watch a few episodes and see how it goes. How you doing? We have time to kill. Oh, okay, we don't. Uh, we'll um, meet back here tomorrow on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge with X-Ray Earth. It looks like maybe we'll look inside the Earth. Who knows? We'll find out tomorrow. See you there. See you later. I can't even talk right. Bye. Doesn't look
doesn't look like there's x-ray earth so this video is going to be a tad bit longer than I expected and it was short but not anymore x-ray earth does not exist I did well it does exist it's a show um, and apparently when I did my research uh, both on my computer and on my machine here um, uh, it's only on Hulu right now I don't know why it was listed in the upcoming things on Disney Plus but oh well what are you gonna do so it looks like we're picking another one and we have our first deadbeat entry so here we go we're really kicking it off right 668 668 all right it's not too far from 700 <laughs> uh, okay well you know what it was cute the first time, and uh, so we're just revisiting a character I haven't watched since almost the very beginning of our this Disney Plus series. Uh, I think last time I watched this, anything with this character, it was November or December, the very latest, um, <laughs> 2019, the, the last year that ever existed. Uh, <laughs> but it, the good thing is, it's a series of shorts. Um, it's, it's very Disney Junior. Vampirina, ghouls, girls, rock, shorts. So, man, for having no, I, I just checked, no shorts since August 14th. Here we are in October, and we've got two days in a row of shorts. Okay, I'll see you, see you back here tomorrow with ghoul, ghoul girls, 